In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Minecraft mods with shaders. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. And for this video, we're going to be working with Google Chrome. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate Irish shaders. Then please go ahead and select on the official irishshaders.dev website right over here. And this is basically going to allow you to download fabric and a shader loader. So basically it is going to allow you to download fabric mods and also run shaders simultaneously. And this is the software that is going to work for us. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here where it says download. Then then you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar and while that's downloading let me tell you guys about simple game hosting simple game hosting offers affordable and high quality minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a modded server with shaders running at the same time what's so great about simple game hosting is that they allow you to customize every single aspect of your minecraft server you can make a crossplay java only bedrock etc and you can even upload mod packs with the click of a single button Simple Game Hosting actually specializes in creating modded servers, and there's also dozens of video guides showing you how to do everything, along with 24-7 live customer support where an expert can answer any of your questions. At the moment, there's currently a site-wide sale where everybody gets 25% off their very first month of Minecraft server hosts. So guys, if this sounds interesting to you, make sure to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Alright, that's enough yapping on me, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the iris installer file. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see it on the top right like me however if you don't see it on the top right then you can always go ahead and open up your file explorer and find it underneath downloads all right but for the clarity purposes of this video i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it to my desktop just like so and i recommend that you guys do the same thing so in order to do this process we also need to have java downloaded so if you haven't already downloaded java please go ahead and download it and all you need to do in order to download it is just open up another tab and just look up oracle java download right over here then go to the official oracle.com website right over here where it will provide you with the direct download to java so just make sure that jdk21 is actually selected and then from here you guys can go ahead and select on your web browser so we can download java whether we're on linux mac os or on windows so me personally i'm on a window so i would go ahead and select on this and I would download the x64 installer and downloading Java is incredibly easy it is going to walk you through the setup wizard and it really shouldn't take that long either all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and actually start downloading shaders and mods that you want to add to your minecraft game so one really great website that I recommend is moderate thread over here so let's go to the official moderate.com website right over here and we can find like a bunch of different mods and stuff like that so let's go ahead and press over here where it says discover mods and by the way you are able to download download both mods and shaders on this website so let's go ahead and start off with mods so uh what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and select on the game version that you want to play your minecraft world in so let's go ahead and work with the most recent version minecraft 1.21.7 and also what you need to do is you need to go under here where it says loader and you need to make sure that fabric is selected because we are going to be using the fabric mod loader all right, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. And over here, it is going to let you know all of the mods that are compatible with both Fabric and the Minecraft version you're working with. So as you're able to tell, we do have a wide selection over here. So let's go ahead and install this one right over here, Exario's minimap. So let's go ahead and do that. Then you want to go ahead and press over here where it says versions. Then you want to go ahead and find the version that is compatible with both your game version and fabric. So make sure that where it says platforms that fabric is actually an option. So as you're able to tell, this works for fabric and Minecraft 1.21.7. So we are good to go. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here where it says download. And now we're just go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like so. All right, but we are not done yet. We also need to go ahead and install shaders. So to do that, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to this top menu and press over here where it says shaders. All right. And from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press here where it says game version and just make sure that you use the same game version throughout the entire process. So again, we're working with Minecraft 1.21.7. So let's go ahead and select on that. And then where it says loader, you want to make sure that Iris is actually selected so we are actually working with iris and fabric because again we did download the iris shaders right over here all right and now it is going to give you a list of all of these shaders that are compatible so let's go ahead and download the complementary shaders right over here then you want to go over here to where it says versions and you want to do the same thing. You just want to make sure that it is compatible with whatever version of Minecraft you're working with and where it says platforms, you want to make sure that iris is actually an option. Then from here all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on download there you go. Then you want to press on download. And again, you just want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like so. After you're done with that, we can go ahead and minimize out of our web browser and we can now focus on our desktop. So at this point, you should have your mod downloaded, your shader downloaded and the iris installer installed. And by the way, you can go ahead and download more mods as well. I'm just keeping it simple for this video and only downloading one. But if you wanted to, you could download like a whole bunch of other mods is you want to go ahead and right click on the iris installer. 
Then you want to select on open with. If you have Java downloaded on your system, like I previously mentioned, you should see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on that option right over here. Then it is going to give you a page that looks like this and where it says select game version. You want to select the version of Minecraft you're working with. So throughout this entire video, we've been working with Minecraft 1.21.7. So let's go ahead and press on that. And where it says installation type, please go ahead and select on Iris plus fabric. So Iris is the shader loader and fabric is the mod loader. So that's why we need to select on Iris plus fabric. After you're done with that, go ahead and press on install. All right, and then once you're done with that, all you wanna do is you wanna close out of the Iris installer and then go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, please make sure that Minecraft Java Edition is selected, then go to the top menu and press over here where it says installations. Underneath versions, please double check that the box that says modded is actually turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. But eventually in this list, you should see fabric loader and then the version of Minecraft you're working with. So in our instance, it's 1.21.7. And once you went ahead and located it all you want to do is you want to go to the right and press over here where it says open installations folder then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this and first of all let's go ahead and start off by uploading our mods first so to do that you just want to go ahead and scroll down until you see mods right over here and if for whatever reason you don't see a folder that says mods then you can go ahead and create it yourself by right clicking pressing on new and then folder and then calling it mods in all lowercase all right but the point is you want to go ahead and open this up really quickly all right so by default we're going to have both iris and the sodium mod right over here so now all you want to do is you want to go ahead and minimize the minecraft launcher and also you want to go ahead and drag and drop the mod that you are going to use so for this video we're using Xario's minimap so let's go ahead and drag and drop it in here oh yeah and chances are if you're using a fabric mod you're going to need another accompanying mod called fabric api so let's go ahead and quickly download that really quickly so let's head back over here to moderate let's go ahead and select on discover mods and then make sure that 1.21.7 is selected and fabric api is typically like towards the top of like the actual list so it really shouldn't be too hard to download it and i know not every single mod requires fabric api but a lot of them do so that's why i'm just going to go ahead and include it in this video so let's go over here to where it says versions and then locate the game version and um obviously it needs to work on fabric and you just want to go ahead and press on download really quickly and then you want to go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop just like so and all right at this point you should have something that looks like this and like i mentioned previously you can go ahead and include more mods if you want but once you're done with that all you want to do is you want to close out of the mods folder and then you want to head back over to the minecraft launcher and we actually need to open the installations folder one more time and that is because we now need to go ahead and upload our shader inside so all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the folder called shader packs yep so here it is and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up all right so at the moment it is currently empty so here's what we're going to be doing we're going to be minimizing the minecraft launcher one more time and of course the web browser and we're going to be dragging and dropping the shader inside of the shader packs folder just like this and once you're done with that you can go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder return back to the minecraft launcher Make sure to go ahead and locate the installation, Fabric Loader 1.21.7, or whatever version of Minecraft you're working with. Then go ahead and press on play, and now it is going to begin to load into Minecraft. All right, guys, so here you are on Minecraft, and you will notice that in the bottom left, it is going to say Fabric and then Modded right over here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and just load it into any Minecraft world, or go ahead and create a new one if you want to. So again, it really depends on you, but let's just go ahead and load into this world. All right, so here we are, and as you're able to tell, the mod is actually working. So recall that we did download the minimap mod, and yep, there it is in the top left so now let's go ahead and apply our shader so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on options please go ahead and select on video settings then you're going to get a brand new menu it's going to look a little bit different and you just want to go ahead and press over here where it says shader packs and then you should be able to find the shader that you did install so go ahead and select on it then go ahead and press on apply really quickly all right and once that's done go ahead and press on done go ahead and press on done done and then back to game and as you're able to tell we are running both our mod and minecraft shaders at the same time and this here is just absolutely beautiful it is a total game changer in my opinion so if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we're trying to reach 400 000 subscribers see you later french fries